This is a uh, Victron uh, 24 volt. We've got the uh, 24 volt Quattro 5000 watt inverter. We've got the Servo unit here. The Servo GX is routed via COM cables to the Touch 50 monitor. Then down underneath that, we've got an external BMS and then a mains detector on the side. Underneath all these cables here is the smart shunt. And then if we follow that line over to here, we've got a Lynx distributor. And the Lynx distributor is coming from the four 200 amp hour 24 volt batteries, which is the equivalent total of 1600 amp hours of 12 volt battery. And then back in this corner here, we've got the 150-85 uh, MPPT. We've got 800 watts of solar on our roof wired in series pairs. This guy right here is a double DIN rail. So with the Quattro, you have to have a DIN rail for both sides. So you have protection going into the Quattro and then AC protection going out as well. And then this part over here is slightly more complicated. We've uh, attached uh, Anderson plugs coming from this customer's secondary alternator to the trailer. And so there's three Orions, each one charges at 15 amps each. And they're controlled uh, by the BMS and the uh, battery protect unit here. So they know when to come on or, or not. What gauge cable did you have to run to the trailer for that? We ran two watt. Yep. Which if the trailer was a few feet longer, that would have switched to four watt probably. Yeah. yeah. On the back here, we've got our class T, which is our protection for the inverter. And then because of the number of loads, we used a, a bus bar going to all of our breakers, which are on the front. So all the devices are going here first, and then uh, if they need to go straight to the battery from there, they're then tying into that bus bar.